Hi, my name is Tam Boon Hui. I'm here to share you what is chemical engineering. First of all, you need to have these thoughts before entering my topic. Do you enjoy the study of mathematics, physics, and chemistry? Do you like the idea of experimenting and transforming raw materials into products on a large scale? Or do you want to explore a field of study that can help to improve the quality of people's life? What is chemical engineering? Chemical engineer is a person who converting raw materials or chemicals into useful products. For instance, Ajinomoto, toothpaste, and also a yogurt. We are the person who use physics, chemistry, and mathematical principles to efficiently design and manufacture items on large scale to allowing all people have affordable access to these products. By studying this course, you're able to select the right process conditions and equipment to create the products economically to ensure production quality and safety. As chemical engineering, you need to know mathematics, physics, and chemistry, these three main subjects. Biology is also one of the additional subjects you need to understand. These are the relatable examples which chemical engineer will apply in real life, for instance, oil and gas, oil treatment, and manufacturing polymers. Good morning. So my topic for today is the role of separation process. What is separation process for? Separation process are used to isolate and purify components from mixtures in the form of removal of impurities from raw materials or products or byproducts, separate recycled streams, improve the product quality and treat waste, for example, in water waste, water waste treatment plant. Next, there are three types of separation methods. First of all, distillation, filtration and absorption. Okay. So first of all is distillation. Distillation is a process that uses the boiling point of different liquids to separate a liquid mixture of two or more chemical, chemically discrete substances. It is a process involving the conversion of a liquid into vapor that is subsequently condensed back to liquid form. Distillation process uses the boiling point of different liquids to make it possible. Filtration, filtration is a process of solid particles in a liquid or gaseous fluid are removed by using a filter medium that permits only fluid to pass through but retains the solid particle. There are several requirements for a filtration process. Filter medium, fluid with suspended solids, a driving force, and a mechanical device that holds the filter medium. And the filter medium usually has a complex structure such as shown in the figure by the right side. It only allows liquid particles to pass through while trapping the large solid particles on the surface of the medium forming a filter cake. Filtration method is usually done at early stages of an industrial process such as separation is not perfect as some of the solid particles may contaminate the filtrate. This is because last but not least, absorption. Absorption is a chemical or physical phenomenon in which the molecules, atoms and ions of the substance getting absorbed enter into the bulk phase, either gas, liquid or solid, of the material in which it is taken up. Chemical absorption usually occurs in a physical process. Example, absorption of carbon dioxide by sodium hydroxide. Hello everyone, I'm Meng Chan. So I'll be continue presenting up for the introduction to chemical engineering, I'll be talking about for the real world application for chemical engineering. So for the first one, it more towards like the energy production field. Whereas the chemical engineer is responsible in the eliminate overall construction process, such as like construction and reformer plant. And also the engineer is also in charge for developing the renewable energy technology for the field and also has And lastly is optimize the process to enhance the production efficiency. So for the next one, in most of the healthcare fields, whereas the chemical engineer are in charge for the manufacturing the life-saving drugs, in charge for the pharma and also nutraceutical fields, and then kind of most also involving in the designing of the medical device and creating the biocompatible materials used in the implants and for the next one is more for the environmental field, whereas the chemical engineer are developed water solid and also air purification system, and also create a sustainable packaging, and implement the technology to reduce the emission, especially in climate emissions, and provide the climate change. And also it helps for industry to meet the environmental standards from our government bodies. And so the last one is more towards the consumer goods, where it ensures the safe, effective, and also scalable consumer good production. 
and at the same time in minimizing operating cost and environmental impact. My presentation title is about chemical engineering impact on society. There are three related impact to chemical engineering on society. The first one is about ensuring access to clean water. The second is developing environmentally friendly materials. And the third is reducing carbon emission. Chemical engineers play a visual role in addressing this challenge by developing advanced water treatment process such as filtration, desalination, and reverse osmosis. This method removes harmful contaminants, ensuring safe drinking water for communities. Apart from that, innovation in wastewater treatment and recycling system help conserve water resources, making them more sustainable. For example, Singapore has impl implemented advanced wastewater treatment technologies, including NE water, recycled water, ensuring that its tap water is safe and high quality. And the EPI of Singapore is 99.8. The demand for sustainable and biodegradable materials is rising as society moves towards reducing plastic waste and minimizing environmental harm. Chemical engineers develop an eco-friendly alternative such as bioplastic, which is derived from renewable resources like cornstarch or sugar cane. They also design materials with lower energy footprints and enhanced recyclability. For example, advanced composite and polymers can replace traditional materials in industry like cons construction and transportation. Improving efficiency while reducing environmental impact. This innovation helps balance industry growth with ecological preser preservation. For example, Denmark is the most eco friendly country in the world and it scores 77.9. Chemical engineers contribute to reduce carbon emission by designing greener energy systems and optimizing industry process to lower greenhouse gas outputs. Technologies such as carbon capture and storage trap carbon dioxide from power plants and industry facilities, preventing it from entering the atmosphere. Additionally, chemical engineers are developing renewable energy solutions such as hydrogen fuel cells and biofuels, which provide sustainable alternatives to fossil fuels. For example, Grenada is the least carbon emission country in the world. On the contrary, China is the most carbon emission country in the world, which produced 10 billion tons of carbon dioxide in 2022. So I will proceed to the conclusion. Chemical engineering is a versatile and impactful field that seamlessly integrates principles of mathematics, physics, chemistry, and biology to convert raw materials into useful products. From its foundational concepts to its practical applications, the discipline underscores irrelevance in shaping a sustainable and efficient future. By employing advanced techniques in process modeling, optimizing heat transfer, fluid dynamics, reaction mechanism, and bioprocesses, chemical engineers have revolutionized industries. Real-world applications such as refining crude oil, purifying water, manufacturing polymers, and developing biofuel demonstrate the profound impact of chemical engineering on daily life. Separation processes are vital in chemical engineering, enabling the isolation and purification of desired components from complex mixtures. These techniques are profitable for various industries, ensuring efficiency and quality in production. So the separation methods are applied, which are distillation, filtration, and adsorption. Chemical engineering contributes to energy production by designing efficient processes and renewable technologies like biofuels and hydrogen cells. It also plays a crucial role in healthcare through the production of life-saving drugs, medical devices, and biocompatible materials. Environmental sustainability is another cornerstone with efforts directed towards water, solid, and air purification, reducing emissions, and creating sustainable packaging solutions. Furthermore, chemical engineers ensure the production of safe, effective, and scalable consumer goods while minimizing operating costs and environmental impacts. The societal contributions of chemical engineering are undeniable, particularly in ensuring access to clean water, developing environmentally friendly materials, and reducing carbon emission. Innovations like desalination, bioplastics, and carbon capture not only address pressing global challenges, but also pave the way for a cleaner and greener planet. In conclusion, chemical engineering is a field that not only transforms raw materials into essential products, but also drives progress in sustainability, innovation, and societal well-being. It equip us with the tools to tackle complex challenges and create a future where science and technology serve humanity and the environment in harmony. So that's all for our presentation. Thank you.